Is somebody holding you back? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Chronicles of Caffeine and Ambition, hosted by the Center Sisters. I'm Stacy, And I'm Megan. And what we are here to do on our podcast is tell you about business, life, families, essentially everything that we do, we want to share with you because we have a lot of self-confidence. We've learned a lot of self-confidence over the years. We sure have. And we want to share that with you. We want to show you how. Let's do this. We talk a lot about support, like um, supporting the people around you, being a positive influence in the people around you. I suppose is a better way to say it. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. It's impacted our business, all of our businesses, our personal life too. So in weddings, how many times have you heard somebody say something atrocious to a bride? Every second day. Mm. And that's not a joke. Like that's not an exaggeration. I mean, every Saturday, there is someone in a party member, a family member, whatever have you, who says something absolutely jaw dropping, makes my blood boil, but you can't say anything because it's not your family, it's not your friend, and it's not really your place, but it's upsetting as a another woman watching a woman and watching her face drop. So yeah, it happens all the time. All the time. Yeah. And like Saturday's the busiest day. I mean, you said, what did you say every second day? I would go, depending on how busy we are, I'd say every day. Yeah. It's like we've been, especially in the wedding industry, we've been conditioned, right? Because we've had shows like I Said Yes with a Dress or like we've seen the shows that are, they're scripted. They're meant for drama. Absolutely. If the party went in and went, oh, that's it. Wonderful. Great. And you're watching the show and you're like, well, that's it. Because we're all so used to this big hoopla of like, well, did you hear what that sister said about the dress? And then the mom came in and her step. Like you want the drama because that's just what we're conditioned to. Because shows like that came off of reality TV where there, everything is drama. Correct. Everything keeps us entertained. Yeah. So yeah, said so yeah, I said yes to the dress is exactly the same thing. It came off of that timing where yeah. we, you are the mean sister, you're going to say something terrible, tell her she's fat, and then everybody in the crowd is going to go, oh, how could you say that? But right. we're told to. The problem is that it actually happens. The problem is that that's what, how people act to each other and we have to watch it. And I think we progressively got worse by watching those shows because it then became okay to actually say well that's what people say you just assume that that is how actually it happens when you go to bridal shop and you're just allowed to throw your opinion at you know at your sister because you feel you should or your friend because you feel you're entitled to your opinion well and the bride has asked these people to come with her because she wants their opinion right but i think it's poor expectation on everyone's part it's a poor expectation if the bride hasn't planned it Mm. and like you have to communicate what you want how you want to feel but the people around you have to know you well enough it's so hard to watch because you want the bride to be happy ecstatic confident empowered all of the big words we want that feeling for her Mm -hmm. and then to watch somebody just squash her with something insensitive or unthought like poorly thought out but if you don't communicate what you want from them, maybe they think that they're helping. Oh. How many times have we heard someone in the party say, like, okay, I'll set the scene. So the bride has found a dress, loves it, everything's perfect, she's crying, and it's an ecstatic moment. Like, we feel that rush, they feel that rush. It's, it's a beautiful moment, yeah. which is what weddings are, which is what our job is, to have those moments when a girl finds her dress and she feels confident and beautiful. And everyone sees that. And I, I'm not saying that the people around her don't see it. But then someone says, well, you don't have to decide now. And you know what? You're completely right. You don't have to decide now. But what you have just done is taken away that amazing moment, that high, that energy, and everyone's feeling the feels. And it feels so great. And then that one person has to say something. And it all comes crashing down. And the poor bride goes, oh, oh yeah. And you watch her deflate. The amount of times we watch brides come out of that and be like, no, yeah, you're right. I should think about it. And that's what we're saying. Don't think about it. But finding your wedding gown is such an emotional thing. It's an emotional process. You need a dress. Like you came for a dress. We're not salespeople. And we're psychologists most of the the time. time, She needs a dress. We're not forcing something on her that she doesn't need. You are 100% correct. Could she think about it? Sure. Sure. But it's an emotional moment. 
you have to feel the emotions and allow her to feed into that. Because that, what if you did that on her wedding day? Can you imagine? imagine? Imagine that throwing in the morning, like you're getting dressed, you're all ready and you're excited. And somebody goes, yeah, well, your butt looks big in that dress. You know how many times we've heard that one? That one boils me. <laughs> Anything about your body image by somebody else, especially somebody else who is the same size as you, says something derogatory about your body. As a human, <laughs> it's real hard to hold your tongue sometimes. It is a major struggle yeah. for the girls who do the appointments because watching someone say negative things about their personality about their body image it just it's hard and it makes us as he because we are our girls here our team is they're incredible they're loving they're caring they're beautiful people but when they have to watch someone just jab a knife in somebody's heart because of their own fear or their own anxieties or their own feelings I, you can have your opinion sure you just 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 think about maybe i mean i guess this is always just what i go to think about if it was you Standing on that pedestal in the dress and you loved it and you were so excited and somebody said that same thing to you. Would you be okay? How would you feel? How would you feel? I just don't think anyone would be okay being like, yeah, my butt does look really big right now. And uh, yeah, and, and some people are confident enough. Some people are strong enough to be like, maybe it does. My partner loves a big butt. End story. We've heard like, that lots. Oh, we've heard that lots. That makes us feel real good when the bride is able to stand up for herself. But secretly where, inside but like yeah go girl yes but where's the comment coming from i suppose is the like are you saying it out of some kind of negativity do you think you're protecting mm. because a lot of the comments that aren't necessarily negative like we've said you can wait you need to think about it those kinds of things they're coming from a protection totally which is great but this is where i'm saying that the the conversation ahead of time has to come in because the bride has to be confident and capable enough to say i'm going to find my wedding gown I want to feel ecstatic and beautiful and confident. And I need you, my people that I'm choosing for this incredible moment with me. I need you to say things like, how do you feel? Do you feel like a bride? Do you want to walk down the aisle in this dress? Yes. Would partner's name love this dress? Yes. You need to, like, you have to think about what you're going to say. So I guess this is education more on everyone's part, bride included. But these are the things that we have to say in the background because it's our job to make her feel confident and beautiful to find this dress that she's going to wear on her wedding day let's say the bride's in her dress she found it she's in tears everyone's super excited everyone's like you know do you feel good all the questions that meg said you ride that high with her because you got to remember this is a core memory what's happening in this building probably will stay with the bride for the rest of her life and maybe with you so you ride that energy with her and she says yes, and everyone's excited, and everyone's like cheering, and then you pop bubbly if that's something that you want to do. But you are everyone's riding that, and it feels so good. It feels so good for everybody, not just the bride. People are crying, and it's a good cry. Like this is great. This is all the emotions, and it's wonderful. And then you get to leave. And most of the time, people leave, and they'll go have a bite to eat, or they'll go somewhere to celebrate. And so this is a whole experience, but it can become crashing down with one person. Mm -hmm saying something like you should wait you should think about it i don't love it i don't love it it's not your thing but it's not, it's not your dress it is not you have your time in the sun to the shine when you get married and at that point you can love your dress and nobody else has to love it it's not anybody else's dress it's yours and so i mean very perfect scenario stacy and i would never trade clothes <laughs> Never! We are sisters, and she probably stole my clothes when I was little. I don't remember. It's possible. But we would never wear the same thing. So I'm not going to be like, I hate it. Don't wear that. It's her choice. She does. Well, I mean, she does say, I'm, I don't ever say, hate wow. It. I never say, hate it. That's a never, no, you're like, wow. That's, wow. A, that's, a, that's a choice. <laughs> wow, that's an outfit there. <laughs> but I'm also confident. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> that's also, though, me being confident enough to be like, I don't care. That's cool. Like, you know what? You don't like it. It's it's flashy. It's whatever have you. Like, you know, it's good. You know what? I'm confident enough to put on whatever I like. I really don't care what anybody else thinks that I like. So, so. Yeah, I mean, this is it. So it's on everyone's part. The bride has to be prepared. She has to know what she wants. You have to communicate what you want. What you want from the people that you bring with you. Yeah. You have to understand that what you're looking for is a feeling. Yeah. There are people that are analytical and you may not have that feeling, that 
people don't always have that aha moment. Don't expect that aha moment if that is not you. If that is oh, yeah, you, totally. great. But you have to know your personality too. So if you're analytical, it'll tick the boxes. You'll want it to be this, 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 and this. Yep. If it ticks all those boxes, then that's it. Then that's it. It's not going to be a sky opening, oh my God, moment. It'll be, this feels right. Correct. So you have to know who you are. You have to know the people that you bring with you. Everyone has to be prepared because this should be an incredible celebration. Secondary to only the wedding in this process, mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. So let it happen. Be prepared for it to make it the best thing you possibly can. And let that moment happen. Enjoy it. Enjoy that Enjoy moment. that process. Uh, yeah. Yeah, totally agree. This isn't a TV show. It's your life. <laughs> so, we will not script your family. <laughs> no. <we're> not. <laughs> no. Absolutely. Well, we'd be the nice script. Be like... <laughs> <laughs> we'll give people cue cards when they walk in the building. So, mom, these are your cue cards. These are the things you're allowed to say. Sister, this is, this is yours. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> yeah. May touched on it quickly about generally the comments are fear based by other people. Mm-hmm. So, mothers or friends saying, you know, I think you should think about it. It's just a fear thing of actually jumping into something, taking a leap, doing the thing. Um, and and it doesn't only happen, I mean, why in a wedding gown, but it also happens in life. It happens yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. We're fear based on a lot of things. Uh, we hear all the time in business. We've heard it most of our lives. And maybe that's why it just does it for certain things. And I guess that's part of the reason why we do this podcast or do anything that we do because the amount of times that we've been told, no, you shouldn't. You can't. I think you should do this. Maybe you should wait. No, it doesn't. It's not just bridal. Like, we've been really harsh on bridal so far. It is a large part of our world and a large part of our business. Totally, yes, yes. But it is, it's life. It's us choosing businesses. It's us making mm-hmm. crazy decisions that mm-hmm. that people are afraid of. Yeah. When we hear, oh, you should do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't start that business. Don't start that. That's crazy. You always like that. You won't make any money doing that. I have a hard time at that. That's one where I'm like, watch me. Thankfully, Stacey has a, I don't even know what complex that is. <laughs> That's probably, I don't know. If you're a therapist, you can let me know how that is. If somebody says, don't do it, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, watch me. Stacey. Watch me. Um, which comes in really handy. But <laughs> <laughs> it's needing that support and that, that community. From mm-hmm. the people around you. Mm-hmm. So, and it may not be able to be your family. Our family is, it, they are incredibly supportive. Mm-hmm. They are also fear based sometimes. A lot of the time. So, we have heard a lot of those comments. Yeah. We sometimes, it stopped us from doing what we were planning to do it to mm-hmm. do. Maybe, and sometimes, maybe it was a good thing and we didn't do that thing. We're growing too. But you have to find the people that will also dream with you and support you in the growth. Not from a fear perspective, but from a possibility perspective. Maybe be more like, I wouldn't do that. But if you guys are going to try that, good for you. I'd rather hear that. Or, oh, that's an interesting idea. Have you thought about these aspects of it? Yes. Because growth still means it's not like, just do whatever you feel. Sometimes it is. I was like, it's not. <laughs> that's why Stacey's here. Um, no, I mean, like, it's not, because there has to be thought behind it. Yes. So it's not like it can't, there can't ever be a comment or there can't ever be opinions. There, there has to be. We Absolutely. take people's opinions all the time. Yeah. But from a place of support and growth and honesty and, and mm-hmm. all of that. So it's all, it's all life. It's, it's business. It's personal growth. It's, it's all of it. The yeah. way that we're harsh on bridal is because we see it every day. Whereas in business, We've heard those comments. We've been through that. We've been told don't do that. And we still are. But we don't take it as personally anymore. No, definitely definitely don't take it as personal anymore. But I, I think that confidence comes from the amount of times that you just, you make that promise to yourself. That you're like, no, I'm, I'm going to do it because I want to do it. And then you push past the fear. You push past like all the negative comments and you do it. And then when you get to the other end, you're like, I did it. And, and you believe more in yourself. Mm-hmm. It's creating the confidence. Correct. It's the self-esteem and the empowerment. So that's what we want to do, right? That's why we're here doing this. That's why we're trying to spread the those words and spread that feeling and create mm-hmm. that community because we've been through this for so long. Mm-hmm. And in the very beginning of our business, just like in the beginning of a bride's journey, finding her dress, in the very beginning of our business, we needed someone to be there who had been through it. 
who had done the business, had grown the pieces, knew what to do. And we were never able to find the people that knew. We looked for mentors for years, years and years and years. We still struggle, although we have a few. We were creating a community. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. Essentially, what we're doing now is trying to be the people that we needed as children. Yep. Whether or not it's in the business world, whether or not it's as a friend to you, whether or not it on all aspects, because I know damn well I needed a very strong, independent woman who would have been there for me to show me life. Make your decisions and make your mistakes. Be yeah. smart about it. Yeah. But grow. But go for it. Mm-hmm. Go for it. One life. So I get. Why on earth are we just staying stagnant? Well, we don't. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's, it's, the royal it's a rhetorical <laughs> question. <laughs> and again, it's not to say that we didn't have the support of the background. Like, we did. We had the family, mm-hmm. but we didn't have the business support, which is what we needed. Mm-hmm. We didn't have the background because we didn't, we didn't train in it. We weren't trained in business. In running big businesses. Not at all. So we've been making it up as we go. Um, and making mistakes, obviously. Lots of them. Lots of them. Um, so that's where our need, well, that's why I'm, where my need comes in for sure. Mm-hmm. But same thing now that we've been, I don't know how many, three decades in the wedding industry. Yeah. We would love to see that kind of support in wedding gown shopping as well. In planning your wedding, like in all aspects of wedding and all of the, yeah. I would love to see that kind of support with somebody. We do. We do. And I'm being really hard on it. We do see it. It's better than it used to be. But I think also people are a bit more thoughtful as to who they're bringing with them Mm -hmm. when they come. I think it's become more of a thing or bringing less people. So there's less opinions. Yeah. So it has gotten better. It's gotten better. Yeah. I guess we're just extra triggered by the people who still have (laughs) opinions. Opinions are great. Supportive opinions. Supportive are opinions. Even Thank better. You. Yes. Yes. So I would say when planning your wedding process, but it isn't just your wedding process. It's your entire life. It's what you watch, what you feed your brain. You can make the concerted effort to follow um, social media outlets that, or specific people, creators on social media who are empowering, who show confidence, who answer questions who would show you how to run a business. Like there's so many niches. There's so many things you can learn so much. If you set your mind to finding the right aspect to watch, Mm -hmm. you can also choose not to do that. You can choose to, there's funny, there's lots of funny stuff, obviously. Sure. But there's lots of stuff that could bring you down because you're only watching the negativity, which is why regular news outlets have had a bad rap lately because it's just negativity. I agree. So you have to be really careful in the same way that you want to, create your community you have to be really careful like I don't know how many times have I said this but you have to be really careful with who you bring with you into a building mm-hmm. you have to be careful who you let into your life you have to be careful with what you watch what you intake we've had we, how long has it been that we've been watching um business just like business tiktoks what people did to grow business youtube that's I think how yeah. the whole thing started we started watching youtube business tutorial things and people in business and it was yeah, like that's, I think, how the whole thing started. And so now we're, most of our feed is only that. We pass back and forth with memes, but generally they're about business or about sisters. Or me making fun of Cece's partner. They're, yeah, that happens a lot, there's a lot too. Of that. Yeah, there's a lot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of what, whatever you're putting in is so important. So put in some good stuff. And that's why we're doing this. Wait. Create a community. Create the support. If you need that support, we're here. This is a like a worldwide capacity. It's not, we're happy to help the people that we know that are local. We're happy to help you no matter where you are. Mm-hmm. Follow us. Follow the follow for the ride because we'll help. We'll help however we can. And if we can't help, maybe we know somebody who can help. Or maybe there's somebody else in the comments who can help you. Yeah. So this is what the whole community thing is. So follow, subscribe, join the community. 